So Marif will be telling us about the, the Spark Academy, which is co-run uh, by the Machine Artificial Intelligence Lab in Lagos, Nigeria, and the Camera Network. Um, and Maruf, if you're ready to go, which I see you sharing your screen, that's perfect. Please take it away. All right. Thank you so much for the kind introduction, Mike. Um, good morning, everyone. Um, Maruf Adewale is my name. I'm based in Lagos, Nigeria. And um, today I'll be talking about our Spark Academy, which um, we used in training absolute amateurs to professionals in the heart of medical image computing. I'll be talking about the approach we use, and I'll also be talking about the results which we've obtained for one year of running this um, program. But to paint the background of how we conceived this idea in the first instance, um, we did a publication in um, Radiology AI where we outlined the benefits and the challenges of using AI in a low resource settings such as ours. And we are able to categorize them as infrastructure, um, skill gap, and also the policy infrastructure. But we didn't stop at just highlighting the barriers. We also proposed solutions towards solving each of these barriers. And these solutions were backed up with Lacuna Fund, where we obtained for, um, for funding to create the Brats Africa data set. BRAT is the brain, the brain tumor segmentation challenge, which has um, been running for more than 12 years now as part of the side effects of uh, MECI. Um, so we proposed to have our data sets, and after having the data sets, we tried to kill um, what, three beds with just one stone by not only creating the data sets, but by also establishing a lab where I'm currently located um, and also um, establishing a summer training school, which trained our which trained young Africans in the heart of medical image computing, which we call Spark Academy, meaning Sprint AI training for African medical image knowledge translation. By the way, um, my lab is just um, a space where we do all manners of um, research that's particular to um, the use of artificial intelligence in healthcare in the region. Um, we have an handful of radiologists, physicists, uh, information informatics among us. But also the data sets which we primarily got funding for um, was created. It featured um, 95 adult glioma patients from Africa, which were obtained between 2020, 20, 2011 to 2022. And this data set was obtained from six um, diagnostic facilities across um, Nigeria. So at the end of the day, we have um, 18 teams participating in um, the Brat Africa Challenge um, with eight of them being part of the spark challenge which we created uh the remaining um, 10 coming from us norway india and china i'll be mentioning it in a bit which are who are the sites that participated in the challenge so for the spark academy we started it on 3rd august and um, we ended it initially we proposed to end it on um, at 1st july but that was when the practicum ended and we practically had to drag it till um, September, where we use the opportunity to prepare our candidates for their, to prepare their solution for presentation at midnight. So we use the teach try use approach. Teach try use approach has earlier been proposed by Rad Age International in part of their project where they um, tend to gather a cohort of participants, train them for a specific period of time, have them try with close supervision what they've learned and also um, releasing them into the field to implement what they use. So we borrowed this technique and we adapted it to our own case where we have, um, we train a network of, um, of medical um, residents in urology, in radiology, in neuroradiology and oncology in the act of AI. And we also got some postgraduate students in medical physics, in biomedical engineering, in computer science, and match the two together, bridge the knowledge gap in between them and have them to be able to work on um, these challenges. So the objectives were to train, retrain a team of Retrainers and also establish a collaborative network across Africa where each part participants can leverage on each other's experience to be able to um, provide solutions that are homegrown 
to our region and also be able to deploy this solution in the clinics. Apart from the um, specific scientific skills that we train them doing these projects, we also incorporate some research skills such as conference writing, grant writing, um, science communication into our trainings as well to prepare them as an all rounder researcher for the region. So for our teach, we established a workshop um, which is a collection of, uh, of foundation courses in Python, in um, the libraries that we use, such as um, TensorFlow, PyTorch. And we also um, teach them about um, medical images, specifically MRIs, the four different um, sequences that we that are always use in the clinics for segments for identification of tumors in, in, the, in the clinics. We also teach each of us pants um, specifically about this. We understand that um, the guys coming from the computing side might not really have much clinical information. And we also understand the ones coming from the clinical side might not really know much about um, um, computing. So we have to bridge this gap in our foundation courses. Whereas next, we also move on to try, which we use in organizing an hackathon that runs simultaneously across 10 sites in Africa before we finally make them to use what they've learned in the workshop and in the hackathon to produce a solution that they are going to publish in BRAT, which serves as our use approach. So the objective of the program, as mentioned earlier, is to build an interdisciplinary capacity of highly qualified personnel across Africa who can develop, who can create imaging solutions and also deploy this solution in their region and also capable of winning global competition. And it's also Michelle mentioned earlier as well, the eligibility for participating in the academy must be a resident in neurology, neurosurgery, or also be um, a graduate student in each of uh, either biomet biomedical engineering, medical physics, or um, computer science. So we released the application for only three weeks, starting from um, late March and terminating uh, at the end of March, early March to late March. Um, so we have 163 applicants that applied. Unfortunately, we're only able to take 70 of them. And from these 70, we have them participating from um, 15 African countries. Even though we run our hackathon at 10 sites, we still have uh, people from other countries, which we have to match um, to other sites for them to be able to participate in the halfway in the hackathon. And that 70% of our attendees were females that demonstrate our um, diversity and equity and uh, at the end of the day, we are able to produce 10 papers, 10 conference papers to Mikai conference that was held um, this year. And these are the sites where we held, held our hackathon simultaneously in my lab, in Rwanda, in Ghana, Ethiopia, South Africa, um, in Nigeria, Tanzania, Cameroon, and also in Kenya. And as well, we equally had an, uh, a whole fully online team called Wakanda, which held their own hackathon online. So our courses, we, we, we started on April 3rd for our foundation courses and we ended it on March 8th. And it took them to introduction to Python, image processing, deep learning, deep learning framework, uh, image segmentation, model validation. During this period, we typically hold these tutorials um, every, every Saturday um, for one hour. Um, on our, we made use of four waves platform for all our trainees. And each, each team, apart from the compulsory um, training that they had to attend on Saturdays, they are also required to have a midweek team, midweek team meeting, which some put on Monday, some on Tuesday, some on Wednesday, and others on Thursday. The idea is for them to go back to their teams and have a discussion about what was discussed in the previous in the previous tutorial, um, share the knowledge among themselves because they have different skill sets. And uh, by the time we equally give them assignments for each, each of the tutorial as well, and the midweek meeting is where those assignments are usually trashed uh, for submission back to the organizers. Then also moving on to our hackathon, we started our hackathon on uh, May 22nd and it ended on May 27th. And um, it's composed of um, different lectures from um, um, experts in the feeds and we equally try to um, put some coding sessions, some other training sessions that are not um, 
exactly scientific. This is where we include how to write conference paper, how to present scientific communication. Um, the hackathon is where we did that, and we also include a networking section by having um, dinner. All teams have their own um, dinner to celebrate of the hackathon. Before we finally move on to the practicum, the idea with the practicum is all the things they plant from um from the foundational courses to the hackathon, this is where they now choose the solution that they are going to implement and um, probably and present those solution for publication in MIKAI. We give them two tasks of um, either using optimized units or swing units. Um, quite a lot of them, about six teams went for optimized units and uh, the remaining four you make use of swing units. And we asked them to tweak um, these existing framework to be able to be able to give better segmentation on data sets obtained from um, sub-Saharan Africa, and quite miraculously, almost all the things has more than eighty percent uh, dice score coefficients at the end of the practicum. So the structure for our training, we we for all sites where the academy is being held. We have one site director, one team supervisor, and work captain with different responsibilities. The responsibility of the site director is just to um, perform administrative duties over the um, the site, such as organizing the venue where the site where the acting is going to take place, trying to arrange logistics and other general administrative duties. While the site supervisor is typically um, someone who is uh, knowledgeable in the field who would have stayed with the team from the beginning, who will be serving as their mentor. Uh, for supervisors, we make use of um, students of MedMark, uh, MedMark Arts. MedMark Arts has been running in Magi University for quite a while, and uh, they run online courses for training people in the arts of medical image computing. And um, quite miraculously, um, Shirin was able to partner with us, and um, we have their team serve members of their team serve as team supervisors for all the 10 teams that we have. And these team supervisors equally went to the sites of the ACA team when it was being held. We have um, Sebastian going to South Africa. We have um, Eugene going to Kenya. And um, we also have um, Joanne going to um, Ethiopia. So the idea is that these guys already have experience about this computing and they will teach them online and also come um, to their sites to train them. And also for the team captain, the team captain are typically instructed for members of the team who are typically radiology residents or postgraduate students in, um, in computing area. And all these guys together with the rest of the team members came together to develop um, solutions that were that eventually at the end of the day we presented to MIPAC. Okay, so these are the guys that did serve as two supervisors who are also members of um, MIPMED Acts. Okay, so our outcomes. Um, during the hackathon, we have um, 68 people, even though we have 70 participants, two members were unable to join. Um, 68 people participated actively in the site. Um, this is Lagos. Um, this is um, Kenya. We also have um, in uh, Nigeria as well. Um, this is Ghana. And this is uh, Syria. This is Kenya, and this is Ethiopia, and this is Cameroon, and we also have Wakandan team um, participating online as well. So equally, almost immediately after our um, our hackathon, we started tasking each each member of the team to start um, presenting on the. Uh, on different aspects of what's next in the team. We at Abonfat is the captain of um, the gladiators team, which is based in Cameroon. He's also a participant in the challenge. And, um, he leads the first tutorial working through the data processing process um, with what they said. He's a member of the academy and uh, he was also able to um, give a presentation and teach the remainder of uh, the participants on how to work through the Brat data set. And this is the same approach that we get them to um, start teaching themselves over and over again through the period of the practicum. And we also have Nancy Ojo, who was also um, a member of the Gladiators team as well, um, who is a radiology resident at um, she participated in the acting and when she went back to our center, she was able to head the seminar to train members of our team, our consultants, fellow residents, radiographers on, on what AI applications can actually do in medical imaging for sub-Saharan Africa. And we also have uh, Alicia Amot, um, who is a member of the 
of the Cape Town team and also Kwikwima, who is a member of the Tanzania team, participated in SNOSAR, um, in their continuing medical education in all aspects of new oncology and telling them about how exactly AI can help us in um, getting faster and more accurate diagnosis in the region. Also, as part of our team's efforts, um, Pardon, the, the challenge that we organized Mary. Can I ask you to, to wrap up over the next minute, please? Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. thanks so much. So we equally have um, our teams going on to represent at SPAC, and uh, we have one of the teams winning the uh, second position, winning $1,000 in the segmentation challenge. We also have a member of the team going to ISM Africa conference to present on their solution. Um, and we also have um, Moanad from um, Egypt presenting Samba as part of the solution. We have members of our team going to deep learning in Daba, presenting their solutions as well. And also, all these are actually geared towards make high conference that comes to Marrakech next year. We, we believe that it's always good to start early if you have a big mission to accomplish. We really want to encourage the, the arts of medical image computing across Africa. And we believe Maikai coming to, uh, to Morocco next year will give be a better platform to be able to demonstrate this. But that's only possible if we've built on the momentum that we've gathered this year. So equally, we face some quite a handful of challenges. We have some computing resource challenges, um, different time zones when we try to run our training simultaneously. We had for about four different time zones in Africa, and that really posed a challenge to us. But we're able to work around it. And we also know we still have internet connectivity issues uh, among um, different countries in the in the in Africa. So that's equally affected us as well. And also because of the fact that um, members of the teams have different computing um skill level so it was quite difficult to train them at the same pace but we also worked around that so moving forward we are planning to hold spark 2.0 which we 2.0 which will include um histopathological slides that we are going to perform segmentation on all of those slides and uh we are equally working towards using this for Mikai 2024 and uh, the people that actually served as um that team captains and prominent members of the team in this year are going to be promoted as supervisor for next year um, to serve to demonstrate the peer led effort. So, working together, well, we need more resources to be able to do majority of these things that we want to do. And we appreciate each member of this audience to collaborate and partner with us to be able to achieve our common goals. Thank you very much.